Hey everyone, this is Cody, and today I'm going to be reviewing this innovative little product. This is the Apertura Easy Leveler for the Seastar S50. This will allow you to quickly level the Seastar S50, but also do it very precisely. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. The first thing I notice about this Easy Leveler is the quality. The machining is fantastic, uh, just excellent fit and finish, and overall just a very, very quality piece. So awesome job from Apertura there. Uh, also, High Point Scientific is offering this for a very good price. I think I paid $43 for this, which in this economy and with this level of machining, I was surprised it's not more. I'm not complaining about it, but it is a very quality piece. Now, leveling the Seastar S50 fundamentally is not very hard, but it can be time consuming because you're having to adjust the tripod legs. For me, I was a bit lazy with the tripod legs and I would get a little bit of star trailing with the S50. With this easy leveler, no more. Uh, I can get a much more precise level by just turning these knobs here and adjusting this top plate till I get the perfect level. So I'm going to show you how quickly and how precisely you can get the uh, S50 leveled with this Aperture Easy Leveler. Now you can clearly see that this is not level. So normally what I would recommend doing is to do a rough level with the tripod legs and then do a precise level with the Apertura Easy Leveler. However, I wanna show you what this thing can do. So I am going to level the entire thing with the Easy Leveler and we'll see how fast and how precisely I can do it. Okay, so on the C-Star, I'm going to tap on the C-Star icon and I'm going to go to Advanced Feature and hit adjust level. And you can see I'm almost five degrees off. All right, so I'm going to start my timer here and go. Okay, it's the wrong way. And this is usually, I'd kind of get this close, maybe a little bit better than this and stop when I'm just using the tripod legs. So this is much more precise this way. And that took me roughly a minute or a minute and a half or so. So I'm gonna call that good. Tap finish there and you can see as it's within 0.1 degrees. Now that I've leveled the C-Star, I can go ahead and lock these adjustments in place by using the three locking knobs. Now the way I like to do this is to hold the adjustment knob in place while I loosen the locking knob. That way I don't ruin my level. And then I'll just go ahead and screw in the locking knob until it tightens against the top plate. There's one. Two. And three. So now my level is locked in, my adjustments are locked, and I'm ready to go. Now you might be wondering, does it stay leveled after you perform a go-to? And I think that's a good question. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the Seastar solar filter. and perform a go-to to the sun. And we'll see. Okay, let's go ahead and check out the balance now. So I'm gonna get out of the sun menu here. I'll tap on the C-Star icon again. And the advanced feature. And go to adjust level. And you can still see it's, I mean, it was 0 0.1 degrees before, now it's 0 0.2, 0 0.3. So not even really worth adjusting any more than it did. So it does hold its level very well. 
on the Aperture Easy Leveler. Now the best use for the Easy Leveler is obviously going to be for deep sky imaging. Even when you're taking 10 second exposures, if your C star is not level, you can get some minor tracking issues. If you use the Advanced Feature tab in the C star menu, and you increase your exposure to 20 seconds or 30 seconds, you really need to make sure that the C-Star is level. Otherwise, you can get some significant tracking issues that show up in your images. So for me, this has been such a valuable tool to help me get that really precise leveling I need to get those minor tracking issues out of my images and make them look even better. Now, are there any disadvantages to the Easy Leveler? Well, the only thing I could really think of was the length of the threaded bolt. Uh, it's quite a bit shorter on the Easy Leveler than it is on the C-Star tripod. So when you go to thread on your telescope, it's not going to thread in as far with the Easy Leveler as it will on the original tripod. Now I will say I have not had any problems with that and I don't expect to have any problems, but I just thought it would be worth mentioning. Before buying the Aperture Easy Leveler, one of my main questions was does it fit in the case? And I'm sure you probably have that same question as well. One of my favorite things about the C-Star is that literally everything is contained inside of this case and I don't have to bring anything else with me. So, does the Easy Leveler fit? Yes, it does. <laughs> I will show you how I did it. Uh, it took a little bit of organizing, but it does fit. Okay, so here is how I organize this. Uh, I have everything that came with the C-Star in here. And when I say everything, I mean everything, including the silica gel packet. I even have an aftermarket little 3D printed Botanov mask and I can still fit the Easy Leveler. So here's how I organize it. I just pull everything out except the manual. So the manual, that's at the bottom. Then I go ahead and take the neutral density solar filter for the C-Star and stick that in the back corner. Silica gel packet goes on the opposite side. Botanov mask just goes right over the solar filter and then I put in the USB-C cable and try and get that as close to the front wall of the case as I can. Then I'll take the Easy Leveler and drop that in. And notice how that bolt is pointing straight up. So when I take the tripod, I'm gonna put it down with these two legs down and that bolt is going to sit right in the space between those tripod legs. So as I drop this in, there it goes. It fits right over. The bolt is sitting right in that space there between the legs. I can close the lid, push down, and it clips shut. So yeah, the Easy Leveler does fit. All right, everyone. Well, that wraps up this review of the Aperture Easy Leveler for the C-Star S50. As always, I hope you found this helpful. Uh, have a great day and we'll hope to catch you next time.